Hi, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Loser 101 video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the gear that is basically better than Aeon. It got updated today, patch notes came out. Literally after I recorded the video and got it all prepped out, um, moments later, we got a patch and the gear got updated. So they changed how the gear looks too. I figured there was another set due to the fact that I was able to die it in, in the die shop. Um, I didn't know how we were going to get the set, but it seems like there's a difference between the sets that are going to drop. So Aeon is usually the drop. Like for let's use, use, let's use Novus as an example. When it came to Aeon gear, it was dropped via the bosses. Eternal, you had to craft whatever. So Aeon is essentially the Dream Reaver gear. Now, it has its own like color palette. Of course, it's the purple set. But if you want to use the crafted set per se, um, it's going to be the other set, which is um, if we go to the equipment shop, it's going to be the stalker set. So the stalker set is going to be like the eternal set. Um, that's going to be like blue. And then the, the Aeon set is going to be like the Reaver set, which is purple. So it's like there's a color difference. So you can tell what is what. But honestly, I think the purple set looks way more better. Um, I know the, the boomerang looks a little bit different too. It's not like the little blue tone-ish. It's more of like a metal, uh, metallic symbol on it, like metallic-ish. Um, so keep that in mind. But the gear was actually updated stat-wise as well. And dude, these stats are wild. Uh, <laughs> so we'll look through all of them, of course. Uh, well, well, first I'll just hover over them, right? If you want to look back at these in the video, you're more than welcome to. So to save you time, but I'm quickly just gonna go through each one for the for the, for each piece. So if players want to see like a specific piece, just pause the video. You know, your boy got you, right? I'm gonna quickly just go through all of them. Everything was changed, all the way from hats, robes, boots, swans, etc. Every literally everything was changed. So. The only thing I didn't see really that was kind of changed, the item cards. Uh, in the previous video I made, I'm like, I'm praying that they don't get rid of the item cards. The item cards are very useful in my opinion, especially the robe, because you're getting a free blade. And even on the amulet, you're getting a free blade, which is even crazy to think about. So I'm kind of glad that they did that and we got to keep all these item cards uh, to a certain extent. Of course, the wands are going to be like a little bit iffy once I go look at them. But in today's video, we're going to be mainly just focusing on the fire set. Um, but it, like I said, if you want to pause the video and look at any specific one, this is your time and you can just see, like, and compare, um, what is what, but I'll, I'll outright say this, that this gear is literally going to be best in slot, uh, when it comes to like hat, boots, um, a daemon ring and even amulet, um, maybe even one. I think the robe is the only one that's like, like, I'm like, Hey, you could probably swatch, switch that out, but I'm kind of just waiting on, um, what the Hun Hao gear and what the Shababa gear is looking like because that kind of will give us like a definitive answer like okay which one should we farm for which one's gonna be best in slot overall like for min max gear um stuff like that but this gear is nuts um wild it's just it's just really wild how how much they increased our stats by because you can get up to like 300 damage apparently what people are saying and which is even crazy to think about but now that we looked at all the gear, let's actually look at individual stuff. So I already have the hat on, right? Just to make it easier for you guys, easier on the eyes, I'll put on the full um, Aeon set and we can even compare it via that, right? Because I already have some of this gear. Um, I, I was doing stuff on stream, so I kind of was just like, hey, might as well test some stuff while we're at it and make a gear set. So that's where this all stemmed from. I should probably even swap my tech off to Aeon. Now, Let's look at the equipment. So the so you want to look at me personally. I'm going to be looking at Reaver Stalker. I'm not going to talk too much about because like I mean, looking at the stats, um, yeah, you're getting more resistance, stuff like that, but you're losing the crit and you're losing damage. So I'm kind of just going to put Stalker to the side. But Reaver, though, look at this, right? You're getting a little bit more damage, one extra damage, same pure, same accuracy, one extra res, more crit, more block and more HP right and you're still getting access to that aura like i talked about in the previous video so automatic upgrade uh literally seems like a direct upgrade it has the same stats um at least in my eyes unless they're taking off something but it looks exactly the same 
pins are exactly the same as well and you're also getting that item card as well now the robe oh my gosh right it's exactly the same <laughs> almost but you are getting two pierce you're getting a, a little bit more block and you are getting some health even, even to make it easier you can see right here you're getting more crit more block more pierce more health and you're getting an item card right you're just ignore the the, the myth damage because it's just pins but you can see that as well and then if we look at the reaver you can see one extra damage one pierce one crit more block um i meant more crit and then more health than the fire trap and then the wand of course you can see it's th this is kind of like incorrect but if you add up the damage you can see that this is roughly 30 fire damage um and you're getting more pierce and then of course you're getting universal crit you're getting a pierce pip chance or uh, not pip chance a pip conserve and everything like that so this is obviously a better as well and it has universal stats on it too which is crazy thinking about and then uh you have the theme which is i believe it's this one right like i said it's, these are kind of roughly the same from when i did make the video the themes and rings didn't get touched too much uh they are they do have more health you can see um where is it i guess not oh yeah it's technically more health but since i have sockets on um yeah you can see that there's more health more block and then technically more damage um if you think about it in that regard and there's a square socket on it as well so you can put on more hp really you can put on more hp you can put on other jewels as well and then this amulet it's still the same as it was in the previous video uh but you do get access to that circle socket so it's literally a better shane von chain um direct upgrade to shane von chain if i have to say so myself and then the ring uh the health didn't get changed on here the health i guess there's no health on this at all so that's the move for the for the stalker set but the reaver set um it is two more damage and a little bit more crit a little bit more health and stuff like that and then of course the deck did get updated before it was just the arch mastery that got changed but now you're getting more health more block and more crit same exact copy same sideboard and everything like that and same item card uh which is kind of interesting and then yes the the stalker deck did get changed as well so it does have like more health more block pip conserve and more arch mastery and you are getting that square socket as well but now let's say if i was to make a set real quick right i want to show you guys what the set will look like if you ideally had the pieces that you wanted right this is without nullity robe so i'm taking that out of the picture so this is like something that i would rock in live room this is excluding um nullity robe uh, this would excluding Hunhau and Shababa gear at the moment, right? This is just something I made on Test Realm, which is to me, it's still still kind of wild even just thinking about, right? So I'll put this full set on. I think it's that one. Yes, that one. Then we have the pet, and then we're also going to switch the deck to the new deck. Now look at my stats. This is why. <laughs> you can have 269 damage of course if you have nullity robe i think you get like 272 which it's nuts that is nuts to me yeah your resist is kind of low but you have perfect accuracy with this setup you still have 34 pierce which honestly it's better than no pierce it's still decent right um crit is still high block is still high my pip conserve is 69 percent, which is before i think on my previous setups i didn't have that much pip conserve so hey it's still there and uh my pips are perfect with my arch mastery still being pretty decent it's almost 200 arch mastery but 11k health and i'm still missing a socket right i'm still missing like imagine if i had a 155 socket and like some of the stuff i like perfect stuff like i'm still missing another 155 socket on here and another 155 socket on here so if you think about it i could have like roughly like 11.5k uh, health on a fire with almost pretty high damage just even thinking about it and this is with dual school as well like i'm even using the pins to, you know like literally min max pins right of course you the power pins are would be accuracy so i would have a pretty good accuracy when it comes to that as well so i would be able to do pretty good in that regard but still these stats are wild even my universal damage is still pretty good like 59 universal i guess if you are a death i mean it's gonna be kind of annoying because you are gonna be doing dark pack damage yourself and some other stuff um or not other not other than death but like other schools if you are trying to use dark pack but it's very niche but still 
these stats are crazy and just even looking at this amulet is wild too you can sock it on damage if you want to this is something that's like like high damage of course you can take out this and you can use like a pierce um you can even switch out some of these jewels and put pierce you can still have pretty high pierce if we add up all the pierce that i'm missing right there's 6 12 and then it's 18 then 24 bro i can get so much pierce. that's literally 30 30 pierce i'm missing out on in reality i could have 64 pierce if i wanted to if i wanted to lose all the damage and i'm like yo i want pierce i want pierce you could have 64 but that's obviously even without like if you had nullity robe that's another i think uh three more damage on top of that and then i think you also get more pierce so at the moment nullity robe is still going to be good surprisingly enough you could argue that like hey you want this robe because you want the item card hey that's still good in that regard like we can even go back let's go let's go to the guild i'll even like show a direct comparison um and just give you guys my opinions regarding that too because we can we can 100% talk about that too it's worth talking about 100% so if we go right here and then we look at the nullity robe for fire um where is it right here so you can see it nullity robe gives you one extra pierce and three more damage when we're comparing it to nightmare right if you care about damage of course damage and pierce now if we were to put on uh, um, the reaver robe and now we're gonna compare it to uh nullity real quick and see see what that's about uh where is it let's go back a bit whoops go back over here robe uh fire in nullity there we go so you are comparing it right here you, you are losing pierce but you are getting damage in return and you're also getting shattering so i still think nullity robe is not power crept now who's to say that the hunt how gear and the shabab gear might be better i don't know i don't think that they would make it better to a point where it's better than nullity because then players would not want to do the dragon spire in um uh, for the damage I guess, I guess people who care about damage and pierce or just just straight out outright damage they're gonna be like yo i want the nullity rope um and there's gonna be a lot of videos coming out where i'm gonna be like maybe i want to have a damage setup maybe i want to have a pierce setup maybe i want to have half and half um there's gonna be a lot of opinions down the line between the player base which which one they want to use do they want to use the nullity robe do they want to use the dream reaver robe for the peers do they just want to have um maybe they don't want to do raids and instead they're just gonna use the nightmare robe uh the robe is still like varied at the moment but still like if even if i had this full set on just the full dream reaver set i still have 266 damage with this setup 810 crit my pierce is still pretty decent it's just i have 99 pips and my pip conserve is 82 percent which is dummy high um but yeah this set now that's like buffed who knows that this might get changed in test room of course it's still subjective to change if they want to tweak some of these stats but dude if you have the nully row 272 damage and apparently the stat cap is like 300 i don't know how i'm gonna reach 300 <laughs> um because this is equivalent to like a decathlon deck in itself like if i pull up the decathlon deck on the wiki like let's just look up the decathlon fire deck 10 setup right uh and for wizard 101 we can quickly look at that uh and see what it has so if you look right here on wiki deck 10 for uh, has well, obviously it would be ice damage right here but you can see the sockets tier square um instead of ice damage it would be fire damage my bad but tier square triangle it doesn't have access to that circle socket if the Catalan deck had a circle socket bro you can have a 20 you would have 20 percent damage on a deck but damage is is only a circle socket so if you think about it this is equivalent to like a decathlon deck like deck 10 you don't even have to go farm it the only reason i would still do decathlon in my opinion is just for the two pip deck so if you are trying to do skull and cindy but beyond that um I don't have a reason to do the Cathalon anymore for the, the deck tens other than the HP. Uh, because if I want to do like an HP setup just for the jokes, right? You still need a deck 10 because deck tens have access to square sockets um, as well as tier sockets and they have a triangle socket. So if you think about it, you can get like 500 HP on a square and then like another 155 on that tier. And you'll have the, the deck itself gives like 500 anyway. So you're going to have almost like a thousand thousand health via a deck. <laughs> so build setups are gonna go crazy be on the lookout for all the videos coming out soon rather be build setups or anything like that i'll probably post like gear setups in the discord as well so if you guys haven't joined the discord um 
be on the lookout for all that type of stuff and dude this new era of Wiz is going to be nuts it's going to be nuts and we have yet to see what the spoiler wall is going to be so who knows but i have found some more some of the gear crafters apparently there's like gear crafters hidden in side quests as well so we should see where, where all this the gear is going to be dropped but i have a rough idea where some of them might be dropped because if there's a gear crafter there then it just assume that there's going to be gear that's going to be dropping from there so that is it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed do you like the gear are the stats too crazy is pvp gonna be mind-boggling we'll have to see but that is it hope you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like subscribe all that type of stuff and uh i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out guys